Hi guys, my name is Sabrina from Sabrina the Teeny Tweeter and welcome to a whole new video. So today I'm going to redo a tag video and it's an original tag because lately I've been having lots of ideas for tags. So as you may know, I'm a huge fangirl. No, I'm not. Because I reread The Fangirl's Guide to the Galaxy by Sam Max, I am creating the bookish fangirl tag! Doesn't that give you the feels already? I know. So the basic premise of this tag is to match fangirlish things to books. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's start. So the first question is, name your bookish OTP. And come on, let's be real. Nobody has just one OTP, okay? So you are allowed to name all the OTPs that you have, okay? Don't worry. So my OTPs are Maxon and America, all the characters from the Lunar Chronicles, Jane Eyre, Mr. Rochester, Aristotle and Dante, Warner and Juliet, Hermione and Ron Weasley, of course. No, it doesn't matter what J.K. Rowling said about that. Basically, all of the ships. And that causes me to suffer a lot, but you know what? When the ship becomes canon, it's worth it. So the second question is, what is your favorite book fandom? I'm just going to be doing a really generic and predictable one, and it's the Harry Potter fandom slash the Potterheads. And guys, I just really, 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 really love this fandom. It was my first bookish fandom. I think it's, it was almost everybody's first bookish fandom. And I just love the community that, it's, that loves Harry Potter. Because you know what? Harry Potter is not limited to age, race, whatever. And I think it's just something that unites us. So, so many good things have stemmed out of Harry Potter. Wizard rock bands, to these old charities, and I just to the theme park. And Harry Potter is just awesome. And so the, I think that everybody who has read Harry Potter and relates to it and relates to the other people who read it. And it's just like a really wonderful community that, I don't know, just Harry Potter inspires awesomeness, okay? I love Harry Potter. So the third question is, who is your book boyfriend or book girlfriend? And it's basically just this character that you just wanted to be real and be with. And it's so frustrating because that character doesn't exist, but you think you need them in your life. So I actually have two for this question, and one is YA and one is classical. The YA one is obviously my bae Maxon, Maxon Shreve, for this election. I like, he's perfect, he's so sweet, and he leads like this country, and he's so kind, and loving, and caring, and strong, and handsome, and sexy. He's just perfect, guys. Max in his bed. I just want Max in my life. So my second book boyfriend is actually one of my first book boyfriends, and it's Mr. Darcy from Pride and Prejudice, which is an obvious one if you read Pride and Prejudice, because I just love Mr. Darcy a lot. I just love his name, I just love his character, I just love the people who played him, aka Matthew McFadden in the guy, in the guy from the Lizzie Bennet Diaries. I just, he's just so dreamy, and I love the way that he treats Elizabeth differently. And he's, I don't know, just, there's something in him, guys. There's something I love about Mr. Darcy. The fourth question is about which book has you read the most fanfic from? Or slash if you never have read fanfic or not interested in fanfic, would you read from or are interested in reading fanfic? And my choice is another generic one. And it's again the Harry Potter series because you know what? There's a lot of characters and plot lines and things that need to be resolved or things that need to be explored more that were did not fit in these books and I just want to hear more about other characters. I want to know more about other ships and just want to read more about other ships aka Luna and Neville because those are end game. I just love anything related to Harry Potter honestly and the fanfic is just good and there's all types of fanfic about Harry Potter and Oh, you can never run out of a Harry Potter fanfiction, obviously. So these last three questions are related to fangirl lingo. The fifth question is basically, pick a book that gave you all of the feels. I'm choosing not predictable books this time, and I'm gonna talk about... So I'm not gonna talk about The Fault in Her Stars, or Deathly Hollows. or even the one, I'm already getting the feels by holding it. I'm going to be talking about Crest by Marissa Meyer. The most perfect book in history. Hopefully that title will be replaced when winter comes. The book, not the season. And, oh guys, this book, this book, this book. This book made me feel everything. Every single feeling that has been cataloged in human existence is in this book for me. And I'm just so invested in the characters, and I'm so invested in anything that, ha that is happening. I cried, I laughed, I was nervous, I felt everything with this book. It's just the Lunar Chronicles, man. If you haven't picked them up, what are you doing with your life? So, 
The sixth question is to pick a book that made you go, I can't even. And basically it's just like a book that you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You can't do this anymore. You're like, oh my god. You're so consumed by the feels that you can't even. So my pick for I can't even is Unravel Me by Tahira Mafi for obvious reasons, <clears throat> chapter 62, and many other things to revolve in character development. And I won't tell you anymore because I don't want to spoil you, but that character development, that character story, I can't do that. The last question is to pick a book that made you go, nope, slash I am done. And it's basically, you're like a book that you're so like frustrated and you're like something happened that made you like just drop your book or throw it through the window. The pick for that book is the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy, specifically We'll Always Have Summer by Jenny Han. Believe me, I really like this book. It's not the best book in the world though, but the last book, the last book, just the main character frustrates me a bit and I don't, and I accept her for who she is, but something happened in the last book, at the like nearly beginning of the book, that I was just like, you stupid. I was like, seriously, I gave up on any chance? Like, I was just, I was just like reading that part in which, spoiler, 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 things happen, and this character commits this stupid decision and stuff, and I was like, nope, nope. And don't drop your books, kids. That's me. Books don't like it. But I had to do it for dramatic flair. No person in this entire universe does that, you know? Like, I had to drop this book and vent for like an hour to my friends because no. No. But yeah, those are all the books that made me feel some kind of feeling and made me proud and made me fangirl a lot. I hope that you like this tag. And I will tag a bunch of people because you know what? Booktube is full of fangirls because, come on, we all fangirl about books and we should not be ashamed about being a fangirl. We have to wear the title of fangirl as a badge of honor, it's a medal. Any comments or praises about my beautiful fire crown and my beautiful face and my beautiful hair, comment down below. And as always, thumbs up this video, share with all your friends and cats, and subscribe because if you're watching this and you don't subscribe, I will find you and I will kill you. Thank you for watching, happy fangirling, bye guys!